All right, Kill Two and T Days here, bringing you another match from Alliance Tournament Seven. We've got Legion of Death with some X's on either side of their name versus the Five. Uh, Legion of Death have fil fielded two Tengu, thank goodness, one Nighthawk, thank goodness, one Scimitar, two Drakes, two Sabers, and one Flycatcher, and a Carries. And for the five, we have a Claymore, Slepnia, Vagabond, Rook times two, Scimitar, Cyclone, and two Cormorants. And the two teams have come in at different angles. The entire Legion of Death team came in at the maximum range of 50k, while the uh, five team came in at scattered ranges. Uh, so there's anywhere from 20k to 60 or 70k between all the ships in the field right now. And first uh, blood one will be first blood at this point is the Kerries for uh, the Legion of X Death. It's uh, seriously in armor now, going into structure. Uh, meanwhile, on the five, the Cyclone and one of the Cormorants taking damage. Uh, Keris now in structure, and one of their flycatchers is in armor, uh, uh, sorry, is nearly in armor, um, as the Keris gets a rep cycle from the scimitar, so it looks like he's going to survive a little bit longer. Uh, the um, Legion of Death flycatcher taking pretty heavy damage. He's in uh, structure, getting shield reps back from the scimitar pretty quickly. The um, five cyclone at about a quarter shields. He's taking a lot of damage, but the five have popped out a lot of shield repair bots, uh, as well as having a scimitar of their own, so he's hanging in there. He's at around 20% shields and holding. Both those uh, frags, the carries, and the um, flycatcher are both back to full shields now for Legion of Death. Everyone's uh, okay for now. Yeah, this looks like the, the Vagabond for the five, piloted by Got K, is currently being webbed, so he's in a bit of trouble. He's shooting at the frigates, but looks a bit from here, and... Um, and so far, the flycatcher for Legion of Death, as well as the Kiris, are both hanging on. Uh, two of their sabers took some shield damage, and uh, they're ripping them back as well. So they're obviously, the five splitting damage between all of these ships at the moment to try and uh, confuse the poor uh, scimitar pilot. And that cyclone for the five, um, in, he was into armor. He got a lot of shield back. He's still getting remote shield reps, um, and, but he's in about half armor, and obviously once uh, once he's taking armor damage, it goes really fast, now down to about a quarter armor. Um, so the Scimitar working real hard trying to keep him alive, that Cyclone, uh, who is pretty stationary. The field is a big mess. Obviously, um, most... Oh, and he's going to go down. He's now destructured. There he goes. So first blood Cyclone um, down for the five. Yeah, and Got K in the Vagabond for the five is now sitting uh, pretty close to the uh, Scimitar for Legion of Death. But Scimitar now in a bit of trouble. He's uh, below 50% uh, at this point, as I think one of the uh, one of the destroyers disappears for the five. And the five team now switched all their attention to the Legion of Death Scimitar. Um, that Scimitar had about a third shield. He took a lot of damage. He's got uh, two Minmatar ships at least bearing down on him. I see the Claymore and the Vagabond for sure. Uh, the Slipner not as close. The Slipner looks like it's harassing uh, uh, the Nighthawk, maybe. Maybe he's tackled, I don't know, but he's definitely shooting at the Nighthawk. That Scimitar for um, Legion of Death now uh, at about 10% uh, shields. Yeah, there's the Claymore and the Vagabond have caught up with this, uh, this Scimitar for Legion of Death, and uh, he doesn't look like he's uh, tackled at this point. He was still burning around at just under 1k one, uh, one per second, but uh, taking some damage. The Rook, however, for the five, in deep, deep trouble. He's uh, lost all of his armor and shields and structure, and he's now blown up. So we currently have four Legion of Death, two Tengu, Nighthawk, two Drakes, Scimitar with no shields left, Keris with no armor left, Saber, um, one with some damage, another saber with uh, less damage, flycatcher with some armor damage and some structure. Uh, on the other side, we have for the five Claymore, Slepnir, Vagabond, Rook, Scimitar, and they've lost all of their um, frigates and destroyers. Yeah, I see a two girls, one cormorant wreck, which indicates to me the uh, uh, five uh, cormorant went down at some point. And there goes the Scimitar for Legion of Death. A uh, huge blow there. It looks to me like he ran out of cap. He was keeping up speed for a while, which let him get out of range now and then. But he uh, eventually ran out and was sitting still and is now dead. So now the Vagabond uh, and Thimor are moving to another target. We'll have to see what that is. Yeah, and we, we finally lost the Sabre that was uh, being damaged for Legion of Death. Uh, Keris now taking hits. He's gone through. Um, it looks like one of the sabers actually tackled the Vagabond as the Keris goes down. Uh, one of the Nighthawks for Legion of Death now in half shields. Uh, meanwhile, on the five, the Slepnir has very little shields left. The Vagabond is in armor and is gone. That was very quick. And uh, the Rook is now dipping into armor. 
a lot of damage on the field with both those logistics ships gone it's like nobody can rep and the, the damage is coming real fast now that um, I think that's the Slipner. The Slipner's about to enter armor and uh, he'll be hurting really bad after that. That's for the five. Also the five Rook taking a lot of damage. He's in deep armor. Slipner now in armor for sure. Both those ships going to be down in seconds. Legion of Death doing okay. They had their Flycatcher taking damage for a while. Their Saber's taking a little bit of damage. Both ships doing alright. And there goes the Slipner for the five. And the Rook will probably be close behind. He's getting a little bit of shield rep now from their Scimitar who is still alive. Uh, and then uh, Legion of Death just lost their Saber. Yeah, they've got a flycatcher that's looking very unhealthy as well. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the scimitar was trying to keep the rook up and left the Slepnir alone. Um, so that's unfortunately now the rook has gone as well. Um, so we now have a claymore and scimitar playing off against two Tengu, two uh, Nighthawk and two Drakes as they finally lose that flycatcher. And the Nighthawk has been taking damage the whole time for the Legion of Death team. I think he's where all of that uh, 5 DPS was focused, but now with most of their DPS off the field, only really that Claymore remaining, uh, he's not really taking any more damage. And now uh, Legion of Death has switched their attention to the 5 Scimitar, who's taking damage pretty steadily. He's at about 20-30% uh, shields or so, uh, and going down uh, pretty consistently here as the missiles continue to come in. Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, very much fire coming off this claymore. Um, he's just sort of buzzing around at the moment. I just wonder if he's trying to get into position or something. Um, his scimitar goes down. So we now have uh, the Legion of Death with two Tengu, Nighthawk, two Drakes playing off against the five with a single claymore. And uh, this was a much better match than uh, last one, and it should it should be said, for the sake of the teams in the match before, that this was a similar setup, Tengu's, Nighthawk's, Drake's, Rook's, and they ran into a setup that it was more practical against, and it was a very close match, really uh, hard fought by both, but obviously uh, it's possible to win points with these Keldari teams, and as I say that, that Claymore just plummets through armor and structure and goes down for the five, uh, leaving Legion of Death uh, standing with five ships, and they wipe the field, so good job to them. Uh, match is done. We'll send it back to Soundwave. 